Today we're gonna to talk about three ways to rescale images without losing quality. Let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about photography, photo editing, and all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Now today we're gonna to talk all about rescaling images in Photoshop and how to ensure you maintain that crystal clear quality no matter how big you scale your photo to be. Now there are a few different ways that you can rescale photos and we're gonna be talking about the three best ways to do so. In the first method, we'll talk about how to directly scale the size of your canvas that you're working with. In the second method, we'll use smart objects to rescale our photo into a larger document. And then in the third one, we'll talk about the advantages of just dragging and dropping a file from your computer before rescaling scaling anything. So with that, let's hop into Photoshop and see how these different methods work. So for the first example, we're just going to stick within this one project and we're going to rescale this photo to be double the resolution that it currently is at. So to change the size or resolution of our current project, all we have to do is go to image and down here to image size. A new dialog box will appear here where you can change the width and height of your photo as well as the resolution. And in this case, since I want to double the resolution, I'm going to just type in 150 pixels per inch and then I'll make sure that resample is checked off and it's set to automatic. So this will help to preserve those details even though it's doubling in size. From there, I'll click OK and Photoshop will work its magic. Now, as you can see, the photo still looks extremely sharp and really nice high quality like it did before, except now it is twice the size of the original that we started with. Now, you could have gone through and changed the different dimensions if you needed to, but in this case, I just doubled the resolution by changing the pixels per inch value. This is the easiest way to rescale a photo without losing quality, but let's talk about a different way using smart objects in the event that you want to move a photo from one project to another. So to give you an example, let's create a new document with a high resolution that's at a different orientation than our current photo. So just for this example, I'll go to File, New, to create a new document, and then I'll just create a 12 by 18 inch photo at a 250 pixels per centimeter resolution, and our orientation is set to vertical like so, and I'll click Create. Now we'll have a nice new document that is a lot bigger than our original photo. However, we can still make it work. But before I talk about how to make it work, let's first talk about the problem that you might encounter. So with my Move tool, I'll select this layer and click and drag it up and over into my other project like so. So here in our other document, we currently have a rasterized layer, which means it's not a smart object within our new project. So we can scale this layer just as normal, including making it go really small or really large. But here's the problem. If I go really small with this layer like so, it's taking all of that information that it once had and compressing it into that small amount of pixels that it has to display right here. So then that means when I go to bring it back up again like so, here's the problem that happens. Notice how pixelated it looks already, and then even when I commit to those changes, the quality looks terrible. And that's because you took a small amount of information when we scaled it down to expanding that to a larger size, and now there just isn't as much detail left over. So what we can do to fix this is use a smart object. Going back to my original image here, I'm just gonna duplicate this background layer and then right click on it and go to convert to smart object. What a smart object does is essentially puts your layer within a packaging so that you're never actually directly editing your layer, you're only editing the packaging. So when you rescale that packaging, it's not changing the dimensions or anything of the photo, it's just changing the container that it's in. So then the photo always keeps that really high resolution that you started with. If you want to learn more about smart objects and how they work, I wrote all about it on bewillcreative.com. You can find a link for that down in the description below. Anyways, with your smart object selected, we'll grab our move tool, click and drag that smart object over into our original photo here. I'll turn off our bad quality example. And now we'll go and do the exact same thing as before. So we'll rescale this smart object all the way down in size, like so, really tiny, commit to that. So now it's being forced to be shown in a very small amount of pixels. Now we can drag that back up and rescale it to fit within our photo, but this time look how much sharper it already looks. Committing to those changes, you can now see that there is absolutely no loss in image quality, even though we've not only rescaled our image, but it's now on a higher resolution document with a larger canvas size 
in a different orientation. So all of these things would typically throw off the quality, but when you're using a smart object, it ensures that you maintain the same quality in the new photo as you did in your original. So comparing this to our bad quality rasterize layer, check out this difference here. That's from rescaling without a smart object, and then this is with a smart object. So looking at that difference, it's pretty insane how much use a smart object can offer you when you're scaling images. Now deleting that layer, going back to my low res example, if you were to bring a regular layer over into a new document like so, before you go and rescale it, what you should do is convert it to a smart object by just right clicking and going to convert to smart object. And then you'd have the exact same advantages as what we just went over. However, if you start doing the rescaling before you create a smart object, then you start to run into problems and you lose the quality like we have with our rasterized layer. Again, if you wanna learn all about smart objects and how they work, I'll leave a link down below for an article on my website. Now, rather than manually creating smart objects in Photoshop, another option that you can do when adding photos to a new document document is to just drag and drop them from your computer because check this out I have the same image as I had before now dragging it and dropping it from my computer directly onto the canvas that we were working with it's going to add that in there like so and you could rescale it to however you want and you don't have to worry about loss in quality because when you initially place it nothing is set in stone quite yet so even if you scale it up you still won't lose that quality for this example I'll just click the checkbox to commit to those changes for now but notice how that new layer is automatically set as a smart object, meaning you can rescale it and not have any quality loss like we were just doing previously. So dragging and dropping photos from your computer directly into your specific Photoshop document is also an easy way to scale a photo without losing any image quality. So now you've learned three different ways that you can rescale images in Photoshop without losing any quality. The first method was to resize an image directly and just change the dimensions or the resolution, then resample that so that even when it gets a little larger, it still maintains that nice quality that you started with. The second option is dragging and dropping your photo from one document to another, but as a smart object. So then you're adjusting the container that your layer is in rather than the image itself. So again, if you wanna learn all about smart objects, I'll leave a tutorial that you can find in the description below. Now the third method that you can use is just drag and drop your photos from your computer into your specific size document and since it will automatically be added as a smart object you don't have to worry about manually doing this and you can just rescale your photo until you're happy with what's going on. Now again it's worth remembering that all these methods do not increase the image quality of your photo it only maintains the quality that you started with so if you already have a low res photo rescaling it with these methods is not going to make any difference for you. You already have to start with a good quality image so that when you rescale it you still have that same quality as before anyways guys if you enjoyed today's tutorial and you learned something today then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today anyways that's all i have for you guys again my name is brandon from bewellcreative.com i'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial see you then